what is up guys it is joe here from joe talks wrestling and today i am bringing you a video that i've been wanting to do for a while however i wanted to actually build a decent collection before i did it um this is my summer 2019 wwe elite figure collection let's get right into it okay guys so kicking my collection off we have the wwe elite 56 aj styles fix up what i've done with this is i've added knee pads i've painted the belt black which is accurate i've painted the gloves with the little black things what i do with all my aj styles figures is i print off and mod podge the p1 logo on the inside of the gloves just to give it that realistic feel and i've cut the elbow pad obviously aj has a cut one in real life what i did is i bought two of them figures as well so here's another Elite 56 AJ Styles in his Royal Rumble 2018 attire. This is the black version I have, which is custom. Um, so yeah, my AJ Styles collection is going to be built up. Um, I'm trying to get quite a few AJs. I like making custom AJs. They're relatively simple, relatively nice. Which leads on to my next figure, which is a fix-up of the Elite 61 AJ Styles in his US Champion attire. Once again, I've added on the P1 on the gloves. And what I did was I gave him one red Ryback knee pad and a red and a blue Defining Moments Ric Flair knee pad. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I can't remember who I saw do this. It might have been uh, My Damn Toys. But someone did it on YouTube and I thought it looked cool so I did it to mine. That leads us on to my next AJ Styles figure which is the Elite 66 AJ Styles. This is the best AJ Styles Elite figure they have made up as of like right now, other than the top picks uh, for 2019. I mean, they're pretty much the exact same figure anyway, just different paint deco. I've cut the elbow pad. They added on some perfectly uh, cut knee, knee pads. These are quite hard to find on figures. We've got the uh, interchangeable hands and obviously the little glove bit on the hands. Best AJ Styles long haired head scan as well, which is awesome. There is the Elite 66 AJ Styles. Now we're done with the AJ Styles figures. Uh, we're moving on to the Elite 43 Fix Up Alberto Del Rio. When I say fix up on this, I mean all I did was added his new torso tattoo. Um, but yeah, this is the Elite 43 Alberto Del Rio. It's an okay figure. I haven't had it for too long. Picked it up for quite cheap. Now we're going to move on to the Elite 33 Batista Fantasy Attire 2019 figure that I have made. This is the WrestleMania 30 five attire but i've changed it up in my own special way you viewers of the channel may have no i did make and sell already a custom batista figure from wrestlemania 35 but i wanted one for my collection however i did not think his attire was like you know amazing i prefer batista when he wears black and red instead of like burgundy so what i did was i just sculpted on the shin pads um i've painted some red boots i've also got some gray ones and some black ones to swap out um so if i have him on the pick fed you know he, he he's not always wearing the same attire basically i added all the new tattoos um and because i didn't have any tattooed arms for batista that have the wrist and forearm tattoos what i did was i just painted the blue um like armbands black so there is my custom Batista. Going to put him here. Now, that leads us on to my next figure, which is the Elite 49 Big Cass. Here he is. This is an amazing Big Cass figure. They only ever made two Elites, one with like red trunks, one with black. I don't have an Enzo Amore. I should probably get round to buying one, considering I do want to introduce more tag teams onto my pick fed. Moving on to the next figure, we have got the WWE Elite 3 Pack Bootios Big E. I love the black and gold attire for the New Day. It's perfect. I picked it up at the Entertainer for, I believe, £15, which is an absolute steal. That's the price of one Elite, let alone three. Bootio's Big E, a fantastic figure. Now, that leads us on to one of my newer figures we've got in my collection. The And this one was very, very difficult to find. I got it for quite a hefty price at Wrestling Shop. It is the WWE Fan Central Elite Big Show. Um, this has got a brand new torso uh, mold for the Big Show figure. We haven't seen one this like this before. I believe it's a new knee pad mold as well. I might be mistaken on that, but uh, I don't think I am. And also new is the Big Show head scan, and we finally get a fisted hand for the Big Show, so he can do his signature bang knockout punch, which is awesome. Absolutely love this figure in his Fourth uh, of July attire that he wore on Raw a few times. Absolutely love it. There's the Big Show figure. Now we're moving on to the first ever singles attire of Braun Strowman, the Elite 52. This is another amazing figure. It is getting a bit like, you know, 
loose and stuff so i might have to upgrade it in the future but as of right now it's a pretty awesome braun Strowman figure that leads us on to my next figure which is the elite 55 brock lesnar this is a fix up um what i've done on this is basically i have added basically pretty much all the sponsors and you know stuff like that onto the gloves onto the shorts jimmy john's logos i've got the everlast on the shoes i haven't like you know this really didn't take me much to do at all just printed off the logos on normal paper and more podged them on and they sit just like decals uh so it's pretty awesome that's my fix up of the elite 55 brock lesnar that takes us on to our next figure this one was another one that was quite difficult for me to find. I did pick it up for about £10 on eBay, though, however, including the NXT Championship. It's the WWE NXT Elite Series of Bobby Roode. But this figure's pretty awesome. Uh, the arms are a bit jacked. I'm not a fan of that. I do like this torso. Um, it's a great for a custom Kenny Omega as well. I do think that that's probably one of the best torsos to use for Kenny. So that is a Bobby Roode, the glorious one taking us on to one of the hardcore wrestlers on the WWE roster, Bubba Ray Dudley. Here he is. This is the only elite Bubba got, uh, unfortunately. He had two figures. One of them was a basic. The arms are unfortunately jacked as hell. Um, Bubba's got the Kevin Owens. Same situation as Kevin Owens, really. Um, Mattel give him two muscular arms. He's not that muscular. I mean, Bubba's a jack guy, but his arms are no way look like that. So that was Bubba Ray Dudley. Moving on to the next figure, the Elite 23 Cesaro. I love this. I think it's probably one of the perfect Cesaro figures. Um, it's not in the bar attire. It's in his singles attire. This is sort of a fix-up. I got rid of the little thigh wraps and put on black knee pads because I think it looks better. This is one of Cesaro's first elites. I believe it is his first elite. Um, the head scan is okay. It's a bit goofy looking, but I don't mind. Um, I picked this up for a steal as well. I think I got it for £5 on an eBay auction, which is just absolutely insane. Moving on to the next, we have got a custom that I do want to get round to updating to make his AEW New Japan attire. This is meant to be a Wrestle Kingdom 12 Chris Jericho figure. However, however, I'm not happy with the head. Um, I tried my best to sculpt long hair. Um, however, I didn't have a Dremel at the time, so I just had to sculpt over the spike. And I don't think it looks very good. Um, the trunks can be better. Everything about it can be better, to be honest. The only thing I'm quite happy with is the tattoo. I think that did turn out quite okay. Um, here it is, Chris Jericho. I used a Lord Stephen Regal attire, uh, a Lord Stephen Regal body. And yeah, the rest are just painted black. So there we go. Chris Jericho, Custom Elite. Moving on to the next, we got the best of pay-per-view, 2012 Elite Christian. And oh my God, this is probably the best Christian figure you can get. Mine's had a bit of battle damage, as you can see. I did get it used. Um, however, I do think it's perfect. I love the purple attire. It's my favorite Christian attire. And yeah, I think it's just perfect for Christian. Moving on, we have got the best in the world, the real best in the world, CM Punk Elite 16. This is a custom fix-up that I got from XIV Customs, um, and oh my god, was this work fantastic. It's got the Elite, um, I can't remember what number it was. I feel like it might be 23, but I might be wrong. CM Punk head. Uh, that's It's basically got the blue trunks attire. And in my opinion, that's this is the best CM Punk head scan you can get for the CM Punks. I need to update the Anaconda uh, tattoo and the Pepsi tattoo decals. They are a bit beaten and scratched, so a bit of paint would fix that. Um, I just need to get the time to do it. But I've wanted this figure for ages. I believe it's his Money in the Bank 2011 Chicago attire, which I absolutely love. And I'm so glad I finally got it. Once again, thank you to XIV Customs. Moving on to this old beaten up best of pay-per-view Curtis Axel figure. I believe this is best of pay-per-view 2012 as well. Um, I'm not certain, but it's beaten up. I've had this since I was a kid, so mine's pretty scratched. It did come with the Intercontinental Championship, but hey... Moving on. I've had to make some more space. We have got the Devon Dudley Elite 45. This has been fixed up. I've painted the arms. I've given him Xavier Woods arms that have been painted. I do think the hands are too big and I kind of botched the tattoo. So I probably will switch these back in the future. But um, yeah, Elite 45 Devon. Moving on. We've got the best of pay-per-view. WrestleMania 30 Daniel Bryan Elite. This is his WrestleMania 30 attire. I love this figure. The only thing I think which could have made it better is if they actually like sculpted 
the gray fur on the back of the kit pads. I mean, I could do that myself, but it's a bit of a task. So Daniel Bryan, best of pay-per-view, WrestleMania 30. Moving on, we have, I believe, the Elite 43 Dolph Ziggler figure that I have fixed up. It's sort of the same as the MDT Dolph Ziggler. Um, I did, I was literally using this just because I didn't have a Ziggler in tights, but I finally found a Ziggler in tights. So this one, bye-bye, put it to the side. Here is my custom Elite Dolph Ziggler. It's quite a mix of a fantasy attire and a real attire. I tried to base it off of the, uh, the match he had with Triple H on Raw back in 2016 with all the DZs, but this was the... Um, just the normal tights elite Ziggler that we've got. I gave it a cool basic head scan, which has got more detail in the hair. And yeah, just painted it black, gave it DZs all around. Absolutely love this figure. That means we are moving on to another custom, which is this custom elite I bought off of eBay for about, I think it was about 20 pounds. And it's a Drew McIntyre custom. Um, this is incredible. I believe like, you know, the decal work is amazing on it. The head is okay. It's a real Drew McIntyre head scan from one of the old Mattel figures, but I don't know which hair piece they used. All of the old Drews used to have ponytails, so I'm not sure. I believe it's a Wade Barrett body, um, and it's incredible. It's a good figure to pass me over until I finally get my hands on a new Elite Drew McIntyre. Moving on, Elite 8 Edge. I love this. I love getting the older Elites because I just feel like they're so rare and so good. And um, all the old Elites that I had on my checklist, I finally got all three of them. It was this Elite 8 Edge, Elite 8 Evanborn, and I believe Elite 4 John Morrison. And I've got all three now, so I'm very happy. Here's the Elite 8 Edge. Fantastic. If I ever find another one, what I'll do is, because I'm not very good at torso cracking, so I wouldn't risk it on this one. But if I ever do find another one, I would love to put a Lord Stephen Regal torso on there. That would be incredible. Moving on, we have got the newest and the last entrance greats figure, Elias. I love this figure. I had to paint my beard black. I'm going to re-go out, like, go over it again. The true effects kind of messed up a little bit on mine, I think. So, uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. The trousers are a bit weird. Would have preferred if they gave him maybe light blue jeans instead of these, like, off-white coloured ones. They gave us a stool and a guitar with this figure, which is all you need for an Elias which makes me very, very happy. We have got another figure that I said I wanted on my like wish list. It is the Elite 8 Evan Bourne with a custom fix up head. Um, this is just a basic Evan Bourne head I got on eBay. I did give it a bit of a stubble. I wanted it to look a bit more like Matt Seidel. Um, so yeah, I did like fix it up a little bit. Whereas I think the one that comes with this figure is like quite goofy. So I'm not a fan of that. But here it is, Elite 8 Evan Bourne, absolutely gorgeous figure moving on to another custom now which we have got my first ever proper custom figure i did it's the network spotlight finn balor however i painted it all black like the traditional demon so there's no blue all black and red um my paintwork could have been better luckily for me it doesn't affect it too much because the demon obviously has the body paint but there's the network spotlight finn balor now we're going to move on to the wwe entrance great Goldberg figure. I really think this is a pretty cool figure. Um, the head scan with the whole like true FX, I'm not a fan of very much if I'm honest with you. Um, I do think it, it I, there's something about it. I'm sure if you guys look at it, there's just something that doesn't look right about it, if you know what I mean. But still, it's Goldberg. It's the only Goldberg Elite you can get unless you buy the raw ring. Nothing on the trunks, just completely plain back. As Bob Basic as you can get for a Goldberg figure. Nice entrance, great figure. Moving on, we have got the Elite 26 Jack Swagger, which I have fixed up to give MMA gloves. Obviously, if you guys don't know, Jack Swagger's actually in Bellator MMA now. Um, so he like does mixed martial arts, he does cage fighting, which I think is really awesome. Um, and because of that, I thought it would be really cool if I give Jack Swagger some MMA gloves. So my, J my Jack Swagger that I've got in JTW is like got the MMA gloves on all the time. I think it's a really cool, simple fix-up that anyone can do. And it looks awesome. So I'm really happy with that fix-up. Elite Jack Swagger. 
And moving on, we have got a figure that I really, really wanted so much as a kid. It's not an authentic prototype, I don't think. It's not the real one. However, it's probably a, like a Chinese knockoff, but it is special to me. The Elite One Jeff Hardy. Um, as you can see, because it's a prototype, it is super loose. Like, every body part is loose. Look at that ab crunch. These legs are so loose. Um, the joints are tight. Like, these elbow joints and stuff are really tight, but the actual, like... Everything else is loose. I mean, just look at it. He's doing the Enzo dance. But yeah, Elite One Jeff Hardy prototype. Now we're moving on to another ultra rare figure, especially in the UK. You can't buy it anywhere. Uh, stores were meant to be getting it in, but they never actually did. I'm so lucky I got one for eBay on for about £20 because about a month after I bought mine, they shot up to about 30 to 50 The Elite 57 Jeff Hardy. Fantastic figure. The first Elite Jeff Hardy in the main series, and it's fantastic. They didn't give him the vest because they really wanted to show off the detail Mattel could put in into tattoos. There it is. It does like annoy me that the tattoo doesn't continue on, on that part of the ab crunch, but hey, Jeff Hardy, Elite 57. I was so happy when they announced that figure. I was even happier when I bought it. Now we're going to move on to the Elite 31 Jey Uso and the Elite 31 Jimmy Uso. These are the old Usos uh, when they were still like in their whole play hard in the paint phase. They weren't like, you know, the gangster Usos that they are nowadays, but still awesome nonetheless. I don't have too much to say about these figures other than the fact that they are awesome figures. That means we're moving on to a figure that you guys haven't actually seen yet. And it is the JTW John Cena. Um, I hope to like introduce him onto the pit fed very soon, but it's basically just a fix up of the first time John Cena was ever in the defining moments line. Um, here it is. It's got a custom hat. I just got a normal John Cena hat and painted it his old style. Um, it's got a basic John Cena head. This is, in my opinion, the best John Cena head scan you can buy for any John Cena figure. Um, what I did is got a custom JTW armband. Um, all that is, is it's basically just a big, like, cane elbow pad that I cut the top off and then just mod podged on my logo. So that's pretty awesome. Here it is, JTW John Cena with the hat. I think it's awesome and I can't wait to introduce it. There we go, John Cena. Now, moving on to this another, basically just another amazing figure. They're all amazing, really. But here is one. It's the third figure that I always wanted. And luckily for me, I got the chase variant of the Elite Four John Morrison. It's absolutely insane. There was two versions of these. What By chase variant, all I mean is, I don't have it with me right now, but the coat, the fur coat that John Morrison came with, the chase variant was a burgundy, like, maroon colour, the same that he's got here on, his, like, his tights. But the other jacket, the one that was normally released in the Elite line, was just a plain red, like the one on his boots. Luckily for me, I got the chase variant, and I also fixed it up with a cool, better John Morrison basic head scan. I think this head scan's awesome. The one it originally came with just sucked. It didn't look like John Morrison at all. But hey, moving on to the next set of figures. I better move these out of the way and make some more room. We have got the WWE Elite 4 Kane. This figure was released twice by Mattel, once in the Elite Four, once in the best of 2010. Um, and it's a really nice figure, but the ankle joints on mine are pretty loose, so he doesn't like stand too well by himself, which is a pain in the ass to animate uh, for the pick fed, but still a fantastic Kane figure. Absolutely love it. Moving on to the next, we have got my fix up WWE Elite 53 Kevin Owens. This figure was fantastic when it came out. I loved it so much. However, there were so many things wrong with it that needed changing. First off, the arms. I gave it some WWE Elite Luke Harper arms, as I believe these are the best arm choice for Kevin Owens. Not too big, not too small, just right. And then what I did was I saw My Damn Toys do the video, but I don't think like I'm going to keep it. I think I'm going to change mine back because the knee joints aren't like lining up right. Um, I changed out the kick pads. And gave him full kick pads instead of like the quarter ones that Mattel give you. But he doesn't stand by himself anymore. Exhibit A. Exhibit B. He doesn't stand by himself. So I think I might have to switch them back in the near future. So there we go. Gonna have to change that Kevin Owens pretty soon. 
Moving on, we have got another custom figure. It's my second custom I ever made. Realistically, it's my first full all-out custom where I completely combined like Frankenstein different parts together to make the figure. It's a custom Elite Kenny Omega. And this has got... I don't know whose arms, if I'm honest with you. Um, it's just got some basic arms. It's got a Hunter Hearst Helmsley body, um, some Seth Rollins kick pads, I believe, and a Daniel Bryan head that I completely botched. Uh, it's the first time I ever tried sculpting, and I really didn't do a good job, did I? But here it is, Kenny Omega. Um, and yeah, turn it around. We've got Elite on the back. I'm hoping in the near future I can make a better one. But there we go, my custom Elite Kenny Omega. Moving on, we've got the WWE Elite 66 Kurt Angle Fix-Up. This fix-up was simply just because, well, I, I talk about, I've already spoke about a few times about how figures have had goofy head scans. The goofiest head scan I've ever seen belonged to this figure. The Kurt Angle head scan just sucked. So I switched it with the TrueFX SummerSlam uh, Heritage Basic Kurt Angle head scan. Here it is. This is his Survivor Series 2017 attire. Really nice Captain America Kurt Angle attire. And I like it very much. Moving on. Elite 29, Luke Harper. Now, all this figure is, is basically just the Elite 29, but I swapped on some different arms. Um, yeah, obviously, like I previously mentioned, the real Luke Harper arms went on that Kevin Owens right there. So I just had to find some replacements. But quite a nice figure, getting a bit loose. I should probably replace it, but there it is, Luke Harper. Moving on, we have a fix-up of the WWE Elite 18 Wade Barrett. This is a really nice Wade Barrett figure. I like like the camo -y sort of colour like uh, trunks that he has. However, I wanted a more updated Wade Barrett, so what I did was I just swapped on a basic Wade Barrett bearded head scan. But there he is, Wade Barrett figure. Moving on, we've got the second Bootios figure, which I previously talked about. Bootios 3-pack, Kofi Kingston. Unfortunately, I've had to repaint the lower torso on mine because it got glue stains and it was white and I couldn't get it off. Bootios Kofi, love the black and gold WrestleMania 32 attire. Fantastic figure. Moving on to the next, we've got the SummerSlam Heritage Matt Hardy figure. This was one of the first figures Mattel released with the interchangeable hands. He's got these like sort of half open, half closed hands and the version one like... Uh, like that hand, uh, which I think is awesome. But here it is, this is my first ever Matt Hardy Elite and I'm very happy that I got it at a very cheap price. Now, we're moving on to another Frankenstein of a figure. Right before Mattel released their most recent Randy Orton figure, they didn't really have one that I that really blew me away. So I decided to make my own. This is a right shamble of parts. It's got the old, I can't remember, I believe it was like Elite 42 maybe. That's probably definitely wrong. Randy Orton head scan that I painted. Sort of gate, tried to do a skin fade. It didn't really work. Um, I've done the eyebrows again. I sanded them down and repainted them. Um, I added the stubble. It's the Elite 12 body for a base. I gave him the WrestleMania 34 heritage Randy Orton arms that I dark, like made the tattoos a bit darker. But here it is, Elite 12. And I added on Randy Orton's tattoo that he has on his upper torso but i love this figure very much obviously you guys that know me will know that randy or my favorite randy orton attire is the black with the red designs i think it's awesome so there it is custom elite fix up elite 12 randy orton now we've got one of my more um like prized possessions in my collection as much as it's not really a figure that's meant to be played with it's an elite prototype another one of ray mysterio now i you guys, a lot of you probably may not know that this figure actually exists. I bought it alongside my Elite One Jeff Hardy. Um, but it's actually a prototype of an Elite Ray that they wanted to do. They wanted to do this black and green attire in Elite form, but they didn't. They changed it last minute to basic. So a few of these prototypes got out. Once again, this is not a finished pro like product. That's why it's really loose. And obviously, I use Ray on my pick fed, and he's a nightmare to like you know use and um, like pose. So here it is, Elite Prototype Ray Mysterio. Pretty awesome. Moving on, we've got the defining moments, WrestleMania 24, Ric Flair. Um, I did, obviously, I'm using the knee pads on the uh, AJ Styles Elite 61. So this just has some old blue Tista Elite 33 Batista knee pads, which really annoys me because the colour just doesn't match. But I figured I'm not going to be using Ric Flair as a wrestling role in my pick fed anytime soon. As you guys know, he's a general manager. So I just thought, you know, why not? Here's some replacement knee pads until I come across another defining moments for cheap. 
Moving on, we have got my Elite 27, first time in the line, and the only Elite of this guy, Rob Van Dam. And this is an old, like, literally, this is an awesome figure. I love this very much. Um, the ponytail has fallen off many a times. I've had to glue it and paint it loads and loads. Um, but here it is, RVD, really nice. Like it very, very much. Sit him there in front of Matt Hardy. Now, moving on, we have got my first ever Elite Roman Reigns that I ever got. It's the Network Spotlight WrestleMania 32. Uh, this head scan really bothers me. I hate it so much. There's literally one good Roman head scan, and um, this isn't it, unfortunately. It's really oversized, in my opinion. It makes him have a really big head. I hate the, shoulder, the, the fact that the shoulder tattoo isn't complete. Um, the attire's really nice on this figure. Just the little things really piss me off, I can't lie. But Network Spotlight Roman Reigns. Moving on, we've got a custom that I've got. Um, you guys may remember, when The Shield returned in 2017, Reigns was wearing his old vest. They never released an Elite of Roman in his old vest, but they did release a basic. So what I did was I basically just bought an Elite Roman Reigns and the best of 2014 basic Roman Reigns, cut the vest, glued it, and swapped it onto this Elite. It doesn't currently have a head, but I did use it at JTW Survivor Series uh, when I did The Shield versus the Canadians. So here it is, Roman Reigns Elite with the up-to-date, well... 2017 shield vest uh this is my favorite shield vest for roman reigns this is the one he's like i feel he's known for wearing the most so here it is custom roman reigns i'm not gonna sit this on the pile because it doesn't have a head i'm just gonna lay it right here but moving on we have got the most recent wwe elite 65 roman reigns figure this is the perfect roman in my opinion um it's got the complete shoulder tattoo which is fantastic the this is the best roman head scan looks spot on and i love it the red attire is amazing i added on the elbow pad just because why not there he is roman reigns that moves us on to our final figure before i move on to uh you know clear the figures again but here it is wwe elite 46 rusev this is just a sort of generic rusev elite i mean there's nothing that blows you away with any of the rusev like elite figures that they've had but this is just a normal elite rusev it came with a jacket i got it for i believe six pounds when toys r us was closing so i can't complain at all really nice figure elite rusev moving on let's move all these out of the way so starting things off with this batch we've got two figures that i completely forgot to mention two customs that i have First off, we've got this custom elite Chris Benoit that I bought on eBay for £10. Absolute steal. It's got a Jack's head scan, a John Cena upper body. Uh, I don't know whose legs and trousers they are, or tights they are, sorry. But yeah, a pretty cool elite Chris Benoit that I got on a pretty steal of a price. And the second figure I forgot to mention is my custom elite Dean Ambrose that I made um, not too long ago. It's got quite, like, it's got its own separate video on YouTube. So if you guys want to know how I made this, go and check it out. It's based off his Royal Rumble 2019 attire so there it is custom elite dean ambrose now let's move on to the final batch of figures i've got here kicking things off we've got the elite 51 sammy Zayn, and i don't believe that they really nail like they haven't nailed a sammy Zayn figure yet he needs the bigger torso he needs the lord stephen regal torso in my opinion sammy isn't a small guy he has at least a chris jericho size torso so wwe and mattel really need to start implementing that into their figures um moving on we've got the first ever elite samoa joe figure the WWE Elite 43 Samoa Joe. I hate this head scan. It sucks. Um, however, it's the first Samoa Joe Elite. I love the red attire. Um, it's basically been re-released in a recent Samoa Joe figure with a better head scan. WWE Elite Samoa Joe. Now we're going to move on to my Seth Rollins collection. There's a fair few. So first up, we've got the Shield um, Seth Rollins. I can't remember what series this is, but this is Seth's first Elite. It did come with a man bun head scan. Uh, it's all like The head scans for these are sort of all over the place. I've got loads of Seth heads. So here it is, Shield Elite Seth Rollins. Moving on, we've got the TNF, then now forever, Elite Seth Rollins fix up. So what I've done here is I've basically just swapped on. Um, this is the head scan I used to use. It's for the old Elite, some, I think it was maybe Elite 30-something or Elite 40-something Seth Rollins that they released back in 2014. Uh, it's that head scan that I've just painted the blonde hair black. Um, I used to use that. That used to be my favourite head scan before the True FX one came along. Anyways, all I've done on this is painted sort of like a belt around, like around the whole top of the tights and the belt buckle. That's basically that. There it is, TNF Seth Rollins. 
I've also done that whole belt trick on this WWE Elite 52 Seth Rollins right here. And uh, this is sort of like the Tron attire, the SummerSlam 2016. Added the belt buckle, obviously got that same head scan. Here it is, Seth Rollins Tron attire. Moving on, we have got the WWE Elite 45 Seth Rollins, I believe, uh, in the white attire. This one doesn't have a head right now. However, it's from his, like, White Ranger attire, which is pretty mad. I do like this a lot. I should really get a head scan on that. But anyway, Elite 45 Seth Rollins. Moving on, we've got my WWE Custom Elite Money in the Bank 2018 Seth Rollins figure. There is a Toys R Us exclusive of this attire. This is sort of Seth's Hill 2015 attire. However, it never made it here in the UK. And uh, it's very, very expensive. So I just thought, why not? I bought an old Seth Rollins figure and just basically turned it into this one. I used the uh, the White Ranger attire to, like, you know, get the line work sort of right. But here it is, my, um, my custom Seth Rollins in his, well, WrestleMania 31 attire. But I added the Money in the Bank 2018 normal belt buckle. That brings us on to my final Seth Rollins figure, which is the Summer Slam Elite Seth Rollins. This has got the True FX head scan, the best Seth Rollins head in my opinion. It's his Deadpool Summer Slam 2017 attire when he tagged with Dean Ambrose, and I love this very, very much. One of my favourite, if not my, definitely is actually my favourite Seth Rollins figure. Now we're going to move on past the Seth Rollins. We've got the old defining moments, WrestleMania 25 Elite Shawn. Michaels. This figure is incredibly rare. Um, I picked this up for relatively cheap, maybe about two years ago now. I got it on a bargain. It's quite loose, um, which is quite annoying. I have to tighten the joints every now and then, but here it is, Defining Moments HBK. Speaking of Defining Moments, we have got the Defining Moments Shinsuke Nakamura action figure this is an amazing figure um it was released with i think like two entrance vests i just got it loose so i don't e like have either of those the head scans a bit off the newer shinsuke head scans are much better if the camera focuses you'll see but still great shinsuke figure the first with the new uh shinsuke nakamura torso body mold which is absolutely incredible now we're going to move on to my WWE Elite 24 Miz fix-up. Um, what I've done is, obviously, the Miz is part of my pick fed, and obviously he's got the WWE logo on his trunks, which is flipped upside down. I'm not a fan of that. I don't want any mention of WWE on my pick fed. So what I did was I took the, uh, the W from JTW and literally just slapped it on the trunks as an M, also on the kick pads. So I've got my own custom JTW Miz. Uh, this is my favourite head scan for the Miz. Uh, I believe it shows sort of like probably the most likeness to him. Um, there is a relatively new head scan on the Elite, uh, I believe 69. That's awesome as well. However, I do believe this Miz, Miz head scan is probably the second best, if not the best. So we're going to put the Miz over there and let's move on. We have got the WWE Elite 14 Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Um, this is based off of... I don't actually know, WrestleMania 28 maybe, uh, I remember buying this Elite as a kid, and it was the first figure of The Rock when he returned, uh, the current Rock that Mattel made in wrestling attire, all the ones before that had been like in normal trousers, so I did buy the Elite for that reason only, The Rock Elite 14. Moving on, we've got the old Toys R Us exclusive WrestleMania 29 Elite Triple H, this was the first Triple H figure released when he cut his hair, uh, the head scan is just trash really i mean the beard and the hair are two completely different colors the lighting's gone bad in this room all of a sudden sorry about that guys um but yeah triple h elite wrestlemania 29 now i fixed the lighting we're going to move on to my like my probably my favorite triple h elite the elite 60 triple h it's got the bald bearded head scan i love triple h when he's got his like how he looks now with his bald head and his beard. Moving on to my final two figures. We've got the WrestleMania 32 Elite fix-up Undertaker figure. Um, what I did was obviously this Undertaker figure was the first to actually include the cloth like leather jacket that Undertaker has. The rest of them from that have just been molded plastic, which sucks. Um, but it had short hair. What I wanted to do was make a current Undertaker, which I think I've done. Um, everyone was using the old uh, like 
WrestleMania basic Undertaker head. And don't get me wrong, that head scan's incredible, but the hair is too short. Looking at this, this is the old first elite Undertaker head scan, and the hair is just right. Undertaker's hair is this long nowadays, um, back to how it used to be. So here it is, Fix Up WrestleMania Undertaker. Now my final elite in my collection is this Fix Up Bootios Elite Xavier Woods. I hated the fact that the head scan was so heavy when on this original figure. It was all spiky and stuff. It was a really cool head scan, don't get me wrong, but it was so heavy it sat on the net peg and just wobbled constantly. So what I did is I just bought a basic Xavier Woods and switched the head onto that. So now I've got a normal like week to week, like day to day Xavier Woods instead of a special occasion one. So now we're going to put all of my figures in a pile together and I will do my outro. So here are all my elites all together in one pile with Big Match John on the top. I do hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. If you're still here, I'm very impressed. It's been a very long video. These Elite Collection videos do take a very long time to make, obviously going through every figure. Um, guys like Wadfigs have done them before, and they're very long videos. So if you've made it this far, comment... Um, oh, let's think. What should you comment? If you've made it this far, comment Kip Clips sucks, just so I know. Um, and if no one has commented that... Well, I'm just never going to make one of these videos again. So, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.